Next you need to add the half teaspoon of the birch tar. In a previous video, we collected birch bark from the property in order to make birch tar. In that video, which I'll link to in the description, I also mentioned that you can use the birch tar to waterproof, moisturize, and treat leather. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a three ingredient leather polish and moisturizer. You'll need some way of measuring out your ingredients. You'll need oil. In this case, I'm using castor oil. It is a well-known oil to be used for treating leather. It's very hydrating. Then you need a wax. In this case, I'm using soy wax because that is what I had on hand. In the future, when I have my own bees, I hope to use beeswax. You'll need your birch tar. You'll also need a can. Here I have an old soup can, a pot with some water in it to melt the wax and the tar, and you'll need some vessel to put the polish in. Some people like to use tins, I like to use small canning jars. The ratio of the ingredients that you use in this polish is a quarter cup of oil, a quarter cup of wax, and half a teaspoon of the birch tar. The first step is to melt the quarter cup of the wax. It's in a can and then in a pot of water just so it's not directly on the heat source. Next you need to add the half teaspoon of the birch tar. And finally you need to add the quarter cup of oil. This is now ready to pour in your vessel and then let it sit to solidify. This is what it looks like once it's solidified. You can use a little rag like this and then wipe that on the leather. One down and one to go. One thing I forgot to mention about the birch oil, which makes it great for a leather polish, especially for shoes, is the antimicrobial and the antifungal properties. Another thing that's really important to do before you polish leather is to clean it first. Rubbing alcohol is a great way to do that. Just put a little bit on a rag. So, I'm just gonna finish up with the second shoe. Massage the polish into the boot, just like you would any other uh, wax, any other shoe polish. Go over areas twice if needed. Make sure you get in the nooks and crannies, and you'll see a big difference in the ability of the leather to repel water and it'll be a lot softer and more supple. Because this is a little bit of a darker polish, you're probably not gonna wanna use this on light leathers or white leathers. And you're also probably not going to wanna use this on suede because of all the oil. You can use it on almost any other leather thing you have though, for, for instance, belts or the sheath for your ax. So until next time, see ya.